Tasting Wine. I'm Toph. And I'm Haley. And T today we are tasting wine. Yes, we are. We are trying Alex Anna. It is a Pinot Noir from the Dundee Hills of Willamette Valley. It's 2016. And in Oregon. In Oregon, yeah. So I am, once again, always, I'm always excited to be here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. Very nice color. Yeah. A little bit darker than a lot of Pinot Noirs, because Pinot Noir, you're supposed to be able to like see through it. I know, that's actually exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, you can kind of, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pour some more. Pour some more, pour some more. Pour some more. <laughs> the Dundee Hills of the Willamette Valley, I've heard, Dundee. are just a really good spot to, to grow Pinot Noir. It's actually um, an AVA, too, which is, which is really, really cool. Oh, my God, smell this. Does that smell like banana? Maybe a little bit of banana peel, but it's also got a lot of other things in there. Like this has got a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Oh my gosh, that's so complex. It's like yeah. banana, meat, kind of a juicy fruits. Um, juicy fruits, meat, for sure. But yeah, the banana is funky. It's almost like a, it's got like that tropical, like, like a Hawaiian like banana if that makes any it's sense it's like banana plus like star fruit or like banana yeah. plus but then like layers deep there's like some like black pepper maybe a little bit of smoke some meatiness some earthiness like what yeah are you getting that too yeah no no, no i am oh okay i, I was like what's like this is like super complex yeah, yeah. so he is so doctor i don't know how to say his last name uh rabana right, 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 right dr rabana so I guess he like fell in love with Burgundy oh. and wanted to have his own. How could you not? Vineyard, I know. I'm like, man, <laughs> who <can> blame him? <laughs> um, yeah, and wanted like his own vineyard and stuff. Um, wow. I mean, this to me does not smell like a Burgundy, but no. it's. Um, well, I mean, maybe it's I mean, not like, there. It's like, I don't know. But either way, I've never smelled banana on a Pinot Noir. Before. No, this is. Uh... I mean, I love the way it's at like right now. Like it has like a, like there's a little bit of this like almost like vanilla note kind of coming through, which is kind of funky. You get that? Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get. Um, I don't really get vanilla, but I'm starting to get a little bit more of like forest floor, wet vegetation. What what do you call uh, it? Foliage. Foliage, but there's also like some minerality, like crushed rocks. Not like a not clay, but maybe like some crushed granite. You, so apparently there's 18 different soil types in the area. What? Yeah, in the area where this is oh, grown. Sure. So maybe that's why we're getting all of these like super yeah. funky smells. Yeah, because yeah, I mean if they're pulling grapes from say 20 acres and there's 18 different, I mean you're gonna get so much going on. But I think that's pretty amazing. Holy cow! Wow. I've never really had a wine that had that was like this. To be honest, this is I mean, so interesting. We haven't even tasted it. Yeah, we haven't it even yet. tried it yet. Look at me. I'm so I didn't used to be so much into like the the smells and stuff like that. But I mean, part of like cooking and going to a restaurant or just cooking at home is like the smell. Like the smell is so much of what you're doing and what you're what you're about to enjoy. So I think that's so cool. Sweet. I've come around. Sweet. Stop it. <laughs> Remember, remember who got you into red wine? Yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> the taste is actually nothing like the smell, but like also very similar to the smell. What do you think? It's uh, not as, oh no. I was saying it's not as complex, but no. The, it's super it, complex. It's super complex. It's got so many little finite things going on in there. Like it has that pepperiness like a faint pepperiness it has a little bit like of a smoke in the middle to end mm -hmm. it's got a touch of fruit not too much fruit it's more like dried fruits it's got that black pepper but up front it's like it's like i don't want to say thin but up front it's more of like a medium body and then everything comes at you i think it's kind of like chewy juicy chewy is a good one in the beginning and then yeah. transitions to that i don't know when i so when you first taste it i think I'm like, oh, okay, I can kind of see how maybe this could be like burgundy-esque style. Mm. And then it like, you know, just I think this is, spins. <laughs> I think this is one of those wines just from a couple sips in. I think it's only going to get better, but I feel like this wine in five years would be like out of this world. This is just so Like it's good. It's so, so interesting. And I feel like Oregon, I don't know, I mean... 
it seems like, at least in my knowledge, it seems like Oregon is like a newer, newer spot within the past 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. Whereas like Burgundy has been around for thousands of years, you know, forever. like forever. <laughs> this is the Roman times. But <laughs> this, this is fantastic. Yeah. I, I really like where this is going. I like this a lot. So fun fact, so he's actually a, a doctor, you know, obviously Dr. Uh, what's his last name again? So I Ravana. I keep forgetting. Um, yeah, so he's a doctor. Uh, oh yeah, it's an MD. Yeah. And yeah. he named this after his daughter, Alexandra. Even though it's it? not called Alexandra, oh, it's Asana. It's like oh, okay. it's supposed to be named after his daughter, Alexandra. Yeah. Yeah, holy cow, this wine. Super complex. You're like, I don't I, care. I don't care about Screw his the fun no. facts. <laughs> no. Doesn't I, matter. I wonder if, so what is he? He's a proprietor. Is that what it says? Proprietor? Yeah, proprietor. So, but I wonder if he's involved in the winemaking process. So he sought out a winemaker. Okay, because I want to congratulate him for seeking out that winemaker and, when, and that winemaker. Because this is, this is so, so I can't good. remember her last name. It's like Lynn something. We do have a question. This comes to us from Tom Tom Tom. <laughs> Tom Tom Tom. Tom Tom Tom. How do you say that name, Tom Tom Tom? I don't know, I like that, but whatever. Um, anyway, so I watch your show and it's really cool to see all of the different smells that you guys get from the wines. For me, when I smell wine, it always just smells like fruit and grapes. How can you develop your nose? Ooh. That's, that's good, good because question. literally what I was just saying is I didn't used to be so much into the smells, but I think it just comes from like trying, like it sounds weird, but like trying, like really getting your nose in there and just saying like, what do you smell? You know, like actually what you do you smell? You just drink a lot. And you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> honestly, you gotta drink a lot you of wine. You like really drink a lot. Yeah. I think for us, like it totally in the beginning was like, yeah, it's cherry, mm -hmm. it's blackberry, I smell vanilla and just like the more you smell, the more yeah. you'll pick it up. Um, honestly, I think so with like a lot of the notes when people are like lemon zest, orange zest, uh, uh, green bell pepper, stuff like that. Like I'll just like take it and like smell it. Oh yeah. And then like that way you're like cataloging in your mind mm -hmm. like, okay, this is lemon zest. This is bell pepper. Yeah. Pick up an orange, zest it out. See what that smells like. Cause it's so powerful. It's a smell that like you won't forget. And I think that's what mm -hmm. like a lot of what wine is for me. It's memories and it brings you to a place. It brings you to a time. Yeah. That's you know? Like some people say like, yeah. oh, it smells like Christmas. And then like everyone, you know, has their own kind their of own thought yeah. of what that it smells like. Smells like my grandma's house. Like it smells like a library. Oh you know? There's in a good way though. You Literally know? <laughs> saying something smells like my grandma's house. I feel like it's like such an insult. No, <laughs> like, so if I said something that smells like Donna's house, I'd be like, hell yeah, I love Donna's house. Back to this. But yeah, I mean, it's just, you gotta, you gotta drink a lot of wine, unfortunately. It takes time. It takes time, but it's gotta be something that you wanna do. Like, I always wanted to get better at just knowing what's in the wine because, like I said, it's it's stories, it's people, there's, you know, families behind all this stuff, and I think it's really, really cool. But they also sell smelling kits, mm -hmm. but, but they're expensive. It's like $300, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a lot of them can be pretty pricey. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, like, honestly, if you're like, gung-ho and $300 yeah. doesn't scare you off, I'd probably do that. Yeah. But you could just go to the produce aisle and smell everything there and uh, do Yeah, that that's too. definitely a great suggestion. <laughs> just take that cilantro and just put it in your face, put it back. Put it back, <laughs> especially with COVID now. People love that. Love it. Love, love, love. No, but this like doctor, I would love to meet him so I can be like, okay, when I am a doctor in a few short months, how Ooh. can I own my own winery? <laughs> How do you get there? Yeah, I was looking at pictures of it. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful glass so windows. Cool. Super, super nice. Like a beautiful, beautiful spot. Would love to go and visit. But I mean, you got anything else on the taste or the smell? Honestly, I think we like nailed it pretty well. I think it's just like, it's really complex. It's really good. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's building. I really like it. It's building for me, like it's getting more of all those things. Like the middle of this is just so expressive. It's almost like an explosion of all of those little flavors going on. All those little flavors. Uh, what is your favorite Oregon Pinot Noir? Because the Dundee Hills seem to be a real gem in the Pinot Noir region. We haven't found too many that are of like Burgundy-esque, but they do have Burgundy 
accents, I would say, you mm -hmm. know, but I do want to find one that's like more on par with burgundy. You're rambling. So, thank you for watching Tasting Wine. Okay. Get out there, taste some wine, let us know what you're trying, let us know what we should try next. Mm -hmm. Don't we have an Instagram? We have an Instagram, it's Tasting Wine Official, it's all one word. Uh, you can see like all this, uh, like the bottles we're about to review, you know, just a little bit behind the scenes. It's a fun follow. Go and check it out. Uh, but other than that, I think we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.